is in a historic mission. ISRO's heaviest rocket LVM3M6 successfully placed a US communication satellite into the orbit. Why is this significant? Let's break it up for you. Three, two, one, zero. Both S200 motors ignited. On board ISRO's powerful LVM3M6 took off a next-generation commercial communication satellite. India's Bahubali rode to life this morning, carrying a massive payload into low Earth orbit, Bluebird 6, a communication satellite built by American firm AST Space Mobile. At over six tons, it is the heaviest commercial satellite ever launched by ISRO's LVM-3 rocket. The 43.5-meter-tall rocket, supported by two S-200 solid boosters, lifted off majestically at 8.55 a.m. this morning and within minutes, the satellite separated and began its journey around the Earth. All crucial elements the mission director authorizes. After a flight journey of about 15 minutes, the spacecraft Bluebird Block 2, riding piggyback on the rocket, got separated and reached its intended orbit at an altitude of about 520 kilometers. Close to the launch. Equipped with one of the largest phased array antennas ever deployed in low Earth orbit, the satellite aims to bring 4G and 5G voice, data and messaging coverage directly to mobile phones, bridging the digital divide directly from space. Launch vehicle has successfully and precisely injected the Blue Bad Block 2 communication satellite in the intended orbit. Let me congratulate the New Space India Limited, the launch vehicle teams of the Department of Space, and the satellite project team of AST Space Mobile on this outstanding achievement and contribution for the global community. This is our 104th launch from Sri Rikota, also the ninth successive successful mission of LVM-3 launch vehicle demonstrating its 100% reliability. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed the launch as a significant stride in India's space sector. He said it marked a proud milestone in India's space journey and reinforces our growing role in the global commercial launch market. This liftoff marks another step in ISRO's push to expand its footprint in the global commercial launch market. It's onwards and upwards from here on for India's premier space agency. All right, and joining me on the broadcast now is Mr. Nami Narayanan, who's a former ISRO scientist. Many thanks to you, Mr. Narayanan, for joining in on the brass tack. Uh, the Bluebird Block 2 communication satellite is not only the largest, it's also the heaviest commercial communication satellite launched by ISRO from Indian soil. What's your assessment in terms of the target and achievement by ISRO? Well, it's a proud movement for ISRO as well as for the country. Uh, as you know that the weight of the satellite is uh, roughly 6,100 kg. It's uh, heavy. It goes into 518 kilometers orbit. It's a low Earth orbit. So it is an achievement because always you know that heavier the payload, better you are and happier you are. So I personally feel it is a, it's a great achievement. Yes. So in terms of connectivity, especially to the remote parts of India, which is uh, being discussed very actively. Do you see ISRO's latest launch as a milestone? Well, uh, it depends how you look at it because uh, uh, the remotest areas, yes, they are there, but I am sure about the cost of this system is going to be more heavier than, uh, you see, of course, the connectivity is going to be there between the telephones without any change, but uh, the point is, there will be some kind of, uh, they have to charge you for that. The charge will be suddenly much higher than what is the charge you are paying now. That's what I feel about it. So that way, uh, the remote, remotest areas, it will, it, will it, it will not be affordable for the okay. people. But that is not my point. My point is uh, that the satellite, you take it and it's a technological advancement, you take it, but they are doing the business that also you take it my problem or my interest is i am able to lift that weight and then put it into low earth orbit successfully flawlessly so that is my my enjoyment now what happened to the satellite it is healthy and their the system is working uh, honestly we are we wish them good luck but i i am constrained to think that 
we have done a job which is uh, which is uh, uh, makes me feel proud of it yeah and by all means you should be feeling proud so the mission is part of a commercial agreement between new space india limited and us based ast and science llc what does this mean for india's space economy i i see you see that that is a very important point uh, now we have proved that we are capable of launching such a heavy weight hmm. into the low earth orbit now he is the americans are doing some business out of it that is fine now for the rest of the world here is an example where we have lifted this weight and then put it into the right orbit so every country needs some way or other some satellite for their own use it could be for weather it could be for remote sensing it could be for uh, communication it could be for television I mean, so on so forth but the point is they need it now in the market this is a monopoly right now being uh, by done by americans as well as the europeans uh, i'm keeping purposely the chinese and the uh, russians away now we are in the field now now we 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 are also i can i use the word competitor in doing this okay our cost i i'm not sure about the cost of uh, this mission but uh, it will be certainly cheaper than uh the cars which are going to be quoted by the our competitors so that way we have a reliable system i'm talking about the launching and we are capable of flawlessly launch the satellite and put it into the orbit and for a cars which is cheaper now this is an achievement now this achievement certainly calls for a, a great uh, celebration but uh, i i feel the world will look for sure. if some some country wants a satellite they will they cannot brush aside brush sure. aside they will come you come to you for any so mr narayan yeah. lastly this mission reflects increasing india and us cooperation in space technology is this now a big win for global collaboration especially when it comes to india and us collaborating in the sector of space it it is see i uh, honestly i i am looking uh, in a different angle i am looking that it is so happened that the us uh, company came uh, with a very intelligent assessment mm -hmm. assessing ourselves as one of the greatest uh, launch capability they have made use of it and they are going to make business out of it but my point is that we were delayed in the development of the cryogenic uh, development for various reasons now the same delay was with a view that there should not be any competitor that is also one of the uh, considerations now today we have overcome those uh, difficulties and we are we have proved that we are able to launch the satellite now we have to celebrate that is a special celebration as far as i am concerned celebrate as we move forward with more collaborations and more progress by isro many thanks to you mr narayan for joining in on the brass tag was a pleasure having you on the show and that's all i have for you in this edition of